Sie sehr lesen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you for that wonderfully warm welcome from the Hardy Dar benches. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Speaker, Mr. President, for far too long, our country's enormous potential has been held up and held captive by political forces that seek to break down rather than to build order, up. Order, honorable members. Order, honorable speaker. Honorable Dozi, what's the point of order? What is the point of order? Sorry, I was switching on the mic. Now, I wanted to speak respectfully to address this honorable member with his rightful title as a matriculant, seeing that there are order, confusions of titles today. Honorable this is a Josie. judge. Honorable now Josie. you have a matriculant. Honorable Josie. Honorable members. Order. Honorable members, you have just been into an induction after your election. You were advised what are the points of orders, what are the rules, and it's very disappointing that some of you are doing exactly the opposite. Honorable Josie, you know that was not a point of order, and it's actually spurious. Order, Honorable Stenays, and can you proceed? Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I think that the grannies and the pensioners and the stockfells who had their money stolen from them at VBS don't sleep any better knowing that the people who stole from them have doctorates and master's degrees. You see, time and time again, they've used populist politics and racial rhetoric to break down any attempt at building a consensus over the growth-enhancing reforms that our economy so desperately needs. They have done so deliberately because it is only by sowing division and preventing reform that they can keep institutions weak, keep the taps of corruption flowing, and stay out of jail for their many misdeeds. For far too long, We've allowed those who seek to break our country down for their own personal benefit and gain to hold back the builders who yearn for a South Africa with a growing economy that creates millions of new jobs. But the 2024 election, where the people of South Africa chose a new path by not giving any party a majority and forcing us to create a multi-party government offers us the most important opportunity and the most powerful opportunity in recent history to overcome the suffocating grip that the breakers have held on our economy and society. The government of national unity is South Africa's chance to free itself from populism, division, and economic decline. This is our opportunity now to build South Africa into the prosperous country that we know it can be together. And that is exactly what the Democratic Alliance is going to do in government. We are in this government of national unity because we have said loud and clear that we want to build South Africa. We don't want to break South Africa. Last night, the president said, and I quote, the government of national unity will pursue every action that contributes to sustainable, rapid economic growth and remove every obstacle that stands in the way of growth, unquote. In all of the portfolios where the DA is represented, both in the executive and in parliament, we're already moving with speed to do exactly that. We have proudly answered the call, Mr. President, to serve South Africa first. And, Mr. President, the DA's Weaver Birds are already eagerly at work. 
In agriculture, we are building a South Africa by partnering with the private sector to enhance biosecurity, extension services, international trade, and to turn the agricultural sector into an engine room of economic growth and job creation. In public works and infrastructure, we're exposing corruption and building the foundations to turn South Africa into a giant construction site that grows our economy. At Home Affairs, we are tackling the visa backlog that you referred to, Mr. President, and reforming the system to bring in the valuable skills we desperately need to build our country. In forestry, fisheries, and environment, we are unlocking funding to get the Just Economic tra Energy Transition Partnership to build the industries of the future. In basic education, we are restoring the dignity of our children by reducing pit toilets and building the skills of tomorrow. <laughs> and in communications and digital technologies, we're building a new digital ecosystem to drive the modernization and digital transformation of our society. But it doesn't end there. In finance, trade and industry, energy, higher education, small business development, and water and sanitation, DA deputy ministers are also helping to weave the reforms that we need to grow our economy. In Parliament, the DA weaver birds are just as busy helping to build the home that we all want. Our portfolio committee chairs are going to drive reforms through the legislature to ensure that we remove all legislative obstacles that stand in the way of unleashing the growth that our country needs. Mr. President, the recent cabinet Lakhotla that you convened has given us Honourable the key ingredients. Honourable your neighbor, can you take your seat? Honourable member, what's your point of order? Madam Speaker, I, I'm Vispan Reddy from Konto Rasiz, where party I rise in terms of Rule 81, and I seek your guidance, Madam Speaker, in terms of the speaker's list. The speaker that's on the podium currently, is he speaking on behalf of the DA or as the Minister of Agriculture? Thank Honourable you. Honourable Member, that is not the point of order. The speaker's list, the members of the executive, also belong to their parties. So that's not a point of order. Honourable Member, you can proceed. <laughs> Honourable Stenazen, you can proceed. He may be ready, but I'm able. <laughs> <laughs> the Government of National Unity has identified the apex priorities to unleash rapid and inclusive economic growth to create jobs as our apex priority. To achieve this, we have identified and committed to a responsible fiscal path that reduces the national debt in order to free up more money and resources for productive investments. The planned review of the sectoral master plans to identify obstacles to growth emphasize and focus on our need for exports, slashing red tape, crowding in private sector investment, and these are the key ingredients that we need. We welcome the interventions to expand the basket of VAT-free goods so that we can put food on the tables of more South Africans at a cheaper price. Specialized policing units to fight violent crime and the construction mafias. These policy changes are some that the DA has long advocated for, and we believe they will make a meaningful impact on our people. Now, while the Government of National Unity has met the requirement for sufficient consensus outlined in the Statement of Intent, some key matters of economic policy and other issues around how we deal with problems going forward, it, import it is important to acknowledge that there are still some areas of divergence that require attention. This is a natural feature of any multi-party government anywhere in the world. For example, the need for universal access to basic health care for every citizen, regardless of the economic status, is important. 
And there are some discussions going on about the best way to achieve that, to ensure that we can fast track it. The same goes for the Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill. However, in all of these areas of divergence, which are natural when you bring 10 parties together, I am convinced that we can find a way forward. It will be requiring us to be honest and diligent about where these differences exist and to work in good faith with each other, one another to find solutions in the best interests of all of the people of South Africa. Honorable Speaker, if this government of national unity succeeds in delivering on its apex priority of growing the economy and creating jobs, then the builders will defeat the breakers once and for all. And this is because if we rapidly expand growth and job creation, we will diffuse the populist tinderbox that the breakers continuously exploit for their own gain. Let me tell you right now that the single greatest fear of the breakers in this house is that the government of national unity succeeds in growing the economy and making South Africa a better place. The greatest fear of the breakers is not that South Africa fails, it'll suit them just fine. If the country goes up in smoke, it'll fuel the politics of division and hatred upon which they thrive. No, the breakers' greatest fear is that South Africa succeeds and our people prosper. Because if that happens, it will destroy the foundation upon which the breakers have built their ugly politics of resentment and populism. But the choice between building and breaking is not ours alone. The creation of the government of national unity means that every South African now stands before an important choice. Who wants to be a builder rather than a breaker? And we need those citizens who want to be builders to strengthen the government of national unity's hand. To be clear, the government of national unity will not be a kumbaya chorus. No multi-party government ever is. And if you've seen successful weavers' nests, you will know quite clearly that things do get noisy from time to time. But this GNU represents the broad interests. And the truth is that the builders in our society have to make this government work because the parties who sit on the opposite side of the GNU want to break South Africa beyond all repair through their looting, their populism, their Gupta selling out, their VBS looting, and their violence. And so, and so to every South African, I say now is a time for the choosing. Are you a builder or are you a breaker? What is your point of order? No, Chair. Uh, let me just clarify it uh, first on your, on your table. Is that a point it's, of order? No, 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 it's not a point of order. What is the point? Let me, order. Uh, I just want to check if uh, Mr. Steen has it. Does he really understand what he's saying? Honorable member, that's not the point of order. Thank you very much. Honorable Steen has it. Can you proceed? Honorable Stan Azen, can you proceed with the speech? When you drive north from here, you will find a magical part of South Africa known as the Kalahari. When you get there, you know that the most successful weaver nests are the ones where as many birds as possible work as hard as possible to build and protect their shared home. And whenever they see a boomslang coming in there to try and steal the eggs, they work together to sound the alarm and protect their home. And so it must be for South Africa. To the breakers, to them I simply say that even the wiliest boomslang doesn't stand a chance when 60 million weaver birds unite to build and defend the home that we love. And that is exactly what South Africa must do now. South Africa, are you a builder or are you a breaker? Order. Thank you very much. Order.